If you've ever wanted to use the side chaining effect, if you ever want to side chain, let's say a kick to a melody or something like that, you're in the right place. I'm going to teach you how to use side chaining in Cakewalk by BandLab. And this is a super easy tutorial. I'm going to show you two ways to do it, and let's get right into it. So I made this quick little loop right here, and now I want to side chain the kick into the melody. So let me show you how to do that. What you want to do is looking at the screen, you want to click B on your keyboard, and it's going to bring open this little sidebar here. In the dynamics section, you want to open up that dynamics area and find Sonatus Compressor. Now drag Sonatus Compressor onto the melody track that you want the kick to go into. And now right now, if you change any settings on here, you're only gonna be compressing the melody. You're not gonna be side chaining the melody. So now what I want you to do is click on your kick track and click on your keyboard. This channel right here has all the information about the kick track that you can use. Into the send section, click the plus sign next to the sends and click on melody compressor side input. If, now, if you open up that compressor again, as you can see, if you put play, that little white circle only goes up when the kick hits and it's tracking the volume of the kick. And it's clearly slide chaining. Your side chain is going to be different every time depending on how loud your kick is or how loud your melody is. But basically, I'm going to use these settings negative 14.9 to be threshold and an attack of zero and a release of 226. My ratio is as high as it can be. So I promised you two ways to do this, and now I'm going to show you another way. I downloaded this plug plugin called M Compressor, and I'm going to have a link to the download link of it, and I'm also going to have a tutorial on how to download plugins. And anyway, if I drag this M Compressor onto the melody right here, it looks like this. Then if I click on the kick track and do the same process of the sends to the melody M compressor, then if we turn on enable and then turn on side chain input, it, it pretty much gives us the same exact results. Pretty much gives us the same exact results, except this one's just a little bit easier to use. It has more of a graphical interface that I like to look at better. And since it is a free plugin, this is just what I use. Finally, I'm going to show you one last little tiny thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the melody track and go down here where it says master. And then I'm going to click new stereo bus. That's going to make it so that you can sidechain all of the contents of one bus. You don't have to just sidechain one track. Let me show you why that's helpful. So this is why it's helpful. I have melody one here that's doing a piano sound. It sounds like this. And I also have this high synthy flute piccolo kind of sound. It sounds like this. So I can send both those sounds to the same bus and then sidechain that bus so that I can only have to use one compressor to sound to sidechain both of the sounds. Let me show you how. If you click on melody one and you have it on bus D, and then click on melody two, and you also have it on bus D, and then you can use the side channel, which as you can see is called bus D and then use Saunders Compressor or M Compressor, whichever one you choose. And then sidechain, just like we did towards the beginning of this video, going into bus D on M, on M Compressor. So now, now the piccolo and the piano are both being sidechained from one compressor. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys this week, Saturday. Just keep creating. Woo!